Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Chained. Today, let's take a look at one of the best, if not the best wallet on Solana, and that's Phantom. Back in my day, we had to fight and try to front run random people on Twitter and Discord to get access to the Phantom wallet using the codes they occasionally drop from time to time. But now that the wallet has been fully released, let's take a deeper look at all the features it has to offer and how it can make your life on Solana a lot better. Maybe even on Ethereum soon. So without wasting more time, let's get started. First things first, you need the Phantom wallet installed. After that, you have two choices. Either you can create a new wallet or use an existing seed phrase. If you already have a wallet made on Solid, then simply go to accounts and copy the seed phrase and paste it right here. This will import your existing wallet into Phantom. You'll also notice that if you create a new wallet on Solid, you get 24 words. But if you create a new wallet on Phantom, you get only 12 words. But both 24 and 12 word seed phrases are interoperable on both platforms. Now that you have your Phantom wallet set up, you can easily interact with all the dApps built on Solana. But let's take a deeper dive into all the features it has to offer. Let's go to the setting page first. Here you can see the address book where you can save all your regularly used addresses in one place. Next, we have the trusted apps where you can choose to keep auto approval on or off. Then we have a super convenient feature, which is the auto lock timer. The auto lock feature lets you decide how long you'd like to keep your wallet unlocked. This is a super convenient feature for anyone who knows the pain of constantly typing the password on Solid. So I'll keep five hours as my timer. So that's 300 minutes and save. So that's the settings page. Phantom also now supports Solana naming service. So you can just type someone's domain name, directly send the owner of the domain any SPL token. For example, if we type sam.sol, then the owner of sam.sol will receive the token I sent him, which I won't be doing right now, but he will if I just send it. You can also directly swap tokens through Phantom. So if we have, say, if you want to buy $10 worth of Sol, just type in $10 and review swap and it will automatically swap the tokens for you. Super neat. The wallet also comes with a collectible stack where you can view all your NFTs in one place. Now you can see why this wallet is so cool. It is jam packed with features, has clean UI, smooth user experience and best of all, cute little ghost as its mascot. But there's more. You can even stake Solana directly through the Phantom wallet. Just click on Solana, go to the staking section right here and choose a validator of your choice. Let's just pick this one since it has 10% return. Type in the amount of Sol you'd like to stake and click stake. And that's it. It's as simple as that. This will stake your Sol into the Solana blockchain, making it more secure and decentralized. Something to keep in mind is that not all the Solana you stake is activated instantly. There is a warm up period where the majority of the soul is inactive and only a small portion of the soul stake gets activated every epoch and only the activated Solana gets the returns shown before. There is also a cooldown while withdrawing or unstaking which also takes time to fully complete. All I'm trying to say is just make sure you're aware of how staking works before committing any amount of funds. I'll leave a link down below so you can read up on how staking works. Also for unstaking, just click unstake and it'll do its thing. After the unstaking is complete, you need to withdraw your soul back. To withdraw the soul back, just click the three dotted button and click withdraw stake. And the soul should be back in your wallet. It's as simple as that. The home page is where you see all the tokens and their values. Though the price tracking is nice, not all the tokens prices are tracked and their value can be neglected from the overall portfolio. So Phantom is not such a great place for portfolio tracking, but that's just me nitpicking. No wallet is super great at tracking the prices of all tokens. That's why we have stuff like Sonar Watch, where you can connect your Phantom wallet to get an accurate view of your holdings. As seen here. That was a lot, wasn't it? I almost forgot I was talking about something as boring as a wallet. But that's the thing. Phantom makes our experience on Solana so much smoother and easier. It covers almost all our needs. Plus, they keep coming out with new features and improvements. So I don't know why you would use any other wallet over Phantom on Solana. 
One more great news is that Phantom will soon be available on Ethereum as well. You can sign up for their beta trial on their website here. Only time will tell how much adoption they'll get there, but I have a good feeling they'll do just fine. Another thing I noticed on the job page is that they're looking for iOS developers, which means they will also be coming out with a mobile app soon. I'm definitely looking forward to that. So that covers almost everything you need to know about the go-to wallet on Solana. And the Solana ecosystem is a space you should really keep an eye on, especially if you think the bull run is ongoing. That's about it for this one. If you picked up something new from this video, then do consider liking and subscribing for more crypto related content. Goodbye.